a right angle triangle OPQ is drawn as shown where A is the, a is the origin O00. So this is O, which is uh, the origin 0, 0. Okay, P is a point on the parabola. So P is a point on the parabola. Uh, having the equation ax minus x squared where q and q is on the x-axis q is on the x-axis show that the mass show that the maximum possible area of the triangle opq we're talking about this triangle is going to be 2 a cube over 27 okay so let's get started so if p is a point so we can say the coordinate of p is x comma y so the distance from O to Q is X and the distance from P to Q is Y. If the coordinate is X comma Y, OQ is X and PQ is Y. Okay, now you may wonder where is that A? Now if you just to, if you factorize this, if you set this equal to zero, this implies if you set Y is equal to zero to find the X intercept, if you factorize if you factor the x out, you will have a minus x. So solving this, you can say x is equal to 0 or x is equal to a. So a is this point. a is here. So what we are saying is, if this is a parabola having this equation, the maximum area of this triangle would be 2 over 27 a cube. Whatever that number is, there will be 2 27th of that number cubed. That's what we want to prove. Okay, so let's get started. So we can say OPQ, that is area of triangle OPQ. When you say OPQ is always area of triangle OPQ, is half base times height. So half uh, base is X and the height is Y. So I'll write A now, A for area. A is equal to half times x times y. What is y? y is ax minus x squared. So expanding this further, so a is equal to half ax squared minus half x cubed. So that this is a function of area of this triangle APQ, OPQ, in terms of x, where A is a constant. A is a constant. So A is a constant. A is not a variable. A is a constant. So now to optimize, to find the maximum possible area, we can say for maximum area, for max area, the derivative should be 0. So we can say dA by dx has to be equal to 0. Okay, so differentiating this with respect to A, so dA by dx is equal to half A as a constant times the derivative of x squared is 2x minus half times 3x squared. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Okay, so we can say, let me do it here. So this implies dA by dx, dA by dx is equal to, so half and 2 gets cancelled. So this is dA by dx is equal to ax minus, this is 3 over 2x squared. Okay, so uh, now we have said for maximum area dA by dx is equal to 0. So this implies setting that equal to 0, I can say ax minus 3 over 2 x squared is equal to 0. Because we know that the maximum area you get when the derivative of the function is equal to 0. So making x the subject, or let us factorize this, so we can say, well, what can we factor out? We can factor out an x, so you have a minus 3 over 2, x is equal to 0. 
So one possibility is x is equal to zero. When x is equal, when x is going to be zero, there's you're going to get the minimum area. Okay. Or you can say a minus three over two x is equal to zero. So making x the subject, I can say a is equal to three over two x. So I want to make x a subject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by two thirds. So I'd also multiply this side by two thirds. So what will cancel this three and two th three over two and two thirds gets cancelled. So we can say this is x is equal to x is equal to two third a. X is equal to two over three a. Okay, so yeah, in other words, this at this you get the minimum area. At this you get the minimum area because logically you can understand that when x is going to be zero, this is going to be zero, the area of the triangle is going to be zero. And for the at this point, you're going to get the maximum area. When x is two third a, you're going to get the maximum area. So let's put it back. So we know this function area. So area as a function, as a function of x. So we can say area a is equal to one half times two third what two third a because x is a, x is two third a. So in place of x, I can put two thirds. So half times half times two thirds a times a times two third two third a minus square of x which will be four over nine a squared so let's simplify this so let me delete this i want this space to be used okay so what can we do so we'll do a little bit of manipulation so here a is equal to this two and this two gets cancelled. So this is one third a times this is this is two a squared over three. So this is simple algebraic manipulation minus four a squared over nine. So this is one third a times I want to make this nine so I'm going to multiply by three. So this is 6a squared over 9, multiplying by 3, minus 2a squared over, sorry, minus, this is 4a squared over 9. Okay, so this is, this is 1 third a times 2a squared over 9. This is 6a squared over 9 minus 4a squared over 9 is 2a squared over 9, which is 2a cube over 27. That's what we wanted, that you get the maximum area, which will be 2 over 27a cube. 